Welcome back to my high performance dojo. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to stay motivated and actually achieve your goals. Now, if you've seen the previous videos in this playlist, you probably know that today is the day where we talk about pure action, putting habits in place to make sure you achieve your goals. I did hint on that in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch those because in those videos, it's very important. I talk about how we get to where we are today, which is essentially understanding our subconscious beliefs create our reality so we can go ahead and discover what those are and then go ahead and follow that up with discovering what reality we want to create and then after that, we went ahead and we created new beliefs aligning with a new reality. So today, we take all that we learned so far and we're gonna to start to apply it into the world. We're gonna actually take the action to make sure you achieve your goals because that's what I care about most. It's one thing to understand all this stuff intellectually, but if you never take action, you never get results. And as I've mentioned in previous videos in this playlist, that's the one thing that the law of attraction missed. They're like, you know, feel what it feels like to drive that brand new Lamborghini. It feels so good. Imagine you have it. Imagine that you're driving it already. And that's awesome. That's, we do want to have those, all those feelings. But if you don't take the action to make the money to get the Lamborghini, you're not getting the Lamborghini. So today we're talking about action. And a lot of action has to do with actually staying motivated. And I know a lot of people think that they're not achieving their goals because they don't feel motivated. So that's why I think this is such an important topic that I wanna get into right now. So step one in getting motivated is getting a clear vision and why. So you should have already gone through this process where you have your new reason for being, which should be very compelling in itself. But I want you to take that and I want you to amplify it by getting super clear on your why. So why is it so important that you go into the world and you take action on your reason for being and you create these results that you want? Why? So you can go ahead and write this down and it's something you can affirm to yourself every day, just read it out loud. It could be one or two sentences, just something that affirms the action you're gonna take on that day. And now to actually program this deeper into your subconscious, go ahead and take that life that you wanna create that's so important to you, the one that you feel so far away from right now, and what I want you to do is turn that into a vision. And so to help you with that, I've actually created a new meditation to guide you through this process. It's available in my app, the B app. It's linked in the description below. It's available on iOS and Android. So if you download that, you subscribe to the app, you're gonna get access to that meditation, along with the other ones that align with the videos in this playlist. Now, can you do this on your own? Yes, absolutely. I created that as a resource to accompany this video. But if you wanna do this on your own, all you need to do is close your eyes, and imagine yourself waking up in the morning and living a whole day all the way into the evening, feeling like it's already been done, like this is real, this is your reality, you're living in this right now. Make it as compelling as you can, use all your senses, hear it, smell it, taste it, see it, touch it, feel the emotions of it, and go through this day actually living your reason for being. So everything that you say you wanna create, it's already been created, and that's what a compelling vision is. So you can, Go ahead and take that vision out of your mind and you can write it out if you like and even get clarity about the different elements of this vision. So exactly how much income you're gonna be making, what impact you're gonna have in the world, what relationships you're gonna be creating. Get detailed on everything so you know what you're programming. Because if you are taking action without any direction, well, who knows what you're gonna create. You need to make sure that subconscious programming is constantly working and telling yourself that this is what I'm creating and this is why I need to stay motivated because it's compelling. It's something I really want and I'm excited about. So once we have that compelling vision and that why and we're all juiced up for it, we need to take step number two, which is actually having habits. Now actions become habits when we do them repeatedly. And just like thoughts and perceptions become beliefs, when we think about them repeatedly, it's the same thing we're talking about here. So habits are actually something that happen in our subconscious mind. And the reason why we call them habits is because they're more than just like an action that you're gonna to take today or tomorrow or the next day. Habits are something that are programmed deeply into you, so you just feel pulled to do them every day instead of having to push yourself. So you don't have to go, oh, okay, I have to go do this thing today. No, it's just what you do. And so an example of a habit that you already have right now would be brushing your teeth in the morning. You know, most people wake up, they just brush their teeth, they don't think to themselves, oh, I gotta brush my teeth again. No, you just do it because you know it's part of your routine. Same thing with showering. So we're gonna add the actions you need to take to create reality into your life as habits. And you're gonna do so 
by reverse engineering that vision you had. So you had that clear vision, right? And I go over this as well in that meditation within the mobile app, okay? And so what you're doing here is you're gonna get clear on that vision and then you're gonna ask yourself, what actions do I need to take consistently to create that vision? Then you need to take those actions and make them habits by putting them down on a to-do list and actually scheduling them into a calendar. Now you don't have to do that forever. Eventually they will become habits. So you don't have to force yourself to put them in a calendar to do them. But if these actions are new for you and you have trouble doing them consistently and staying motivated to do them, then the best thing you can do is put them in your calendar and say that on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I do X thing at 10 a.m. through 12 p.m and just make it a part of your routine. And if you're wondering how I've created any of the results that I have in my life, whether it be in fitness, getting you know six pack abs, or in my YouTube channel, the other one I have building it up to over 500,000 subscribers, or to creating a six plus figure income, all these things that I've done for myself, I've done through taking action, that ended up just becoming habits. Let's take my other YouTube channel, The Jump Rope Dudes, as an example. How do you get to over 500,000 YouTube subscribers? You consistently create a habit of creating videos. So every week, we create at least one to two videos. So there's habits that are in place to make sure that we talk about this video, we have a meeting to make sure we know what we're creating, then we go and script it out, then we go shoot it, we hand it off to our editor. So all these things are a part of a process and they're habitual now. We just know that we do it because it's a part of the routine. And so I never have to start my week off on Monday and be like, oh, I need to find the motivation to go make another video. No, it's a part of my habit. It's a part of my rituals of my life. It's just what I do. And that's what we wanna do for all of your habits, whether they be health habits or creating a business or creating a certain outcome in your life, whatever it might be, whatever you care about, I don't know what you care about, but whatever you care about, you need to transition those actions into habits. I hope this is hitting home with you because habits really are what create everything in our lives. And the reason why I mentioned the whole part about scheduling it in your calendar and actually saying you're gonna do it at this day and this time is because there's been a lot of research done on people who are implementing new exercise routines. And this research shows that people who actually schedule these times to go exercise are three times more likely to actually go do the exercise. So that applies to fitness and exercise and your health and your life. It also applies to your reason for being and creating the results that you want. So that's how we move from feeling like, oh, I need a motivational video or a motivational talk. I need to read a motivational quote. You won't need any of that anymore once you create the right habits to get results. So step one, create that compelling vision and why. Step two, implement the habits in your life to create results. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, comment, or drop any questions you have below. If you wanna to talk to me personally, you can always reach out to me on Twitter or Instagram at ZenMasterEp. Uh, I just wanna thank you for your attention because I love making this content and it means so much to have your attention because I wanna see you take action because that is what our world needs. We need more good people in the world taking action, bringing their unique gifts, to reality. So that's my greatest hope for you. Go uh, do the thing and I'll catch you in the next video.